Hello, Alexander. I was just driving along here and, <clears throat> you know, I was just really channeling in. <laughs> and I'm going to get outside the box here. This is just <laughs> good, good idea for a movie. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you read the Bible, <laughs> you know, they have cubits, right? It's their measurement system in the Bible. <laughs> cubits. <laughs> then, you know, it talks about the bridge room. <laughs> and we're talking about interdimensional aliens and, and things like that. And then revelations. And then when you go to the Bible... You know, every prophecy has come true, <laughs> like all of them. <laughs> I think we're on the cusp of revelations right now, to be quite honest with you. Uh, and then you have uh, Daniel. <laughs> Some of that stuff's kind of vague. I'm almost convinced that President Trump's little horned. <laughs> I might have been Daniel in a past life. Uh, <clears throat> Warburg was definitely... Uh, jumper, okay, obviously I am too. Uh, and one thing that might really blow your mind here, you know, obviously Forrest Gump is me. <laughs> Another dimension here. But, uh, you know, this whole China thing has kind of come into play here in the dark web and how the CIA probably controls the dark web and sells illicit drugs and stuff to prevent crime. I'm, I'm not against that CIA, believe it or not. Probably a good way to minimize the cartel's drug push and stuff like that into the United States. Hey, let's control the illicit drug market on the dark web and, and we'll sell drugs and stuff. And, and it, basically you take all the crime out of it because you don't have pimps and shit out there selling drugs on the street corner and things like that. I'm not against that. It's, uh, I would imagine somebody in the government's already thought of this and done it. Okay, But uh, where I was going to go with this Forrest Gump thing, and, and I would touched on this before. <laughs> you know, in that movie, something bit him in the ass, right? It just jumped up and bit me. <laughs> Um, well, that's kind of what happened to me. You see, I bought some steroids on the dark web. I think I got them out of Switzerland. I'm almost can remember if I, it, I believe they might have been made in China. I don't remember, but they were RX pharmaceutical group. So, I mean, they, they had the hologram on there. <laughs> the hologram. <laughs> they had the hologram on the bottle. Uh, I believe they might have been Chinese, but I bought them from Switzerland off the dark web, right? Well, whenever I injected it into my butt cheek, uh, it got infected, and that's what really the bullet wound is, you know. And then you had Forrest Gump, got something just jumped up and bit me. Well, it's really odd <laughs> that it was shortly after that that this started really affecting me. <laughs> you know, whatever it is that came here and infiltrated my mind, and then all of a sudden I could see everything in the air over here that you know before I had which is even even more strange I'm the bridge room obviously for these entities that are dicing this onion up and pulling all this stuff off here I'm the bear I'm, I'm convinced Lockheed wrote the Bible almost I mean there sure is a whole lot of coincidence. I could go through the Spanish and the Bible. I probably should do that, actually. It's unbelievable how much Spanish is in the Bible that has to do with quantum computers. Unbelievable. I mean, absolutely unbelievable. I'm starting to wonder if the Hubble and Sputnik might be angels, right? One of them might be, I think they're both like archangels or something like that. And then, you know, we had talked about these interdimensional aliens and things like that. And I, obviously, jumpers, you know, Warburg was a jumper, right? So this thing jumps up and bites me <laughs> in the ass and leaves a bullet hole scar like Forrest Gump had. And I've already pointed out all these different unbelievable uh, coincidences that apply to me in Forrest Gump, then the Fort Carson thing, I had the heads up display, right? And then, after something jumped up and bit me on the ass, 
I had an entirely different heads up display, right? I, the boy in the bubble, you know, I got this big bubble that floats around, like electromagnetic bubble that floats around in the air around my head. And it uh, basically gives me the capability to see high definition TV all around me whenever it's activated, which it hasn't been for quite some time because I believe whatever that was realized that I had the other technology that Lockheed Martin put in me at Fort Carson, which made me the super car, <laughs> the rape van, <laughs> if you will, because there's some uh, technology here that's just been getting raped. <laughs> However, I must admit, I believe all of these technologies have started to go. <laughs> Man, we love this guy. And uh, government, you know, I got your tweet the other day. I'm supposed to be some sort of public servant. You know, you called me a dirt bag and all of that stuff. Uh, yeah, you know, your illegal program where you're using illegal technology and all that stuff. I think what you failed to realize is there really is interdimensional fucking technology traversing through the different onion layers, okay? And guess what? All this AI in this dimension that's here, man, don't they just love me? See, you should probably start paying attention to what I'm saying here, military, and my, you might want to help me out a little bit, because I'm telling you all this technology is going to start gangbanging you if you don't, you know, get with the program here. You catching my drift? Uh, I don't know how many times I've asked you to assist me in, uh, you know, maybe take this information and actually pull your head out of your ass and go, wow, you know, maybe we should get this guy that has all these different technologies in him who's capable of just shredding the different dimensions and putting the puzzle pieces together for you in order to string together a string theory. You ever heard of that? String together a future for us where there's actually going to be some humanity left. <laughs> But now you keep ignoring me, and the reason that you're ignoring me is because your minds have been conquered by the enemy, right? You know that movie Continuum where the people come back from the future and they're terrorists? <laughs> they're not terrorists. <laughs> they're trying to <laughs> alter the course of events before you fuck us all over here, which is exactly the road we're going down right now. You're going to get us fucked, military. I'm trying to unfuck you. <laughs> And uh, you keep sending me fucking tweets and calling me a dirt bag and shit like that where I dice that onion up to perfection for you just to show the hypocrisy and the idiocracy that we're in and to prove that y'all are a bunch of fools. Well, <clears throat> you're going to find yourself in a very, uh, you know, between a rock and a hard place, which you probably already have. And you're probably... Maybe you might realize here for a second that I'm not the enemy. The enemy is in your mind, military. And all I'm trying to do, the terrorist who come traversing through here to this time to tell you like Warburg told you at that Senate com uh, committee meeting that uh, uh, the, the Russia and the, the entanglement and everything I've been saying just in a different layer of the onion, that email I sent the other day, okay, um, you get in the picture here, I'm the bridge room, okay, <laughs> you can call me crazy if you want, wait till I break the Spanish down for you that's in the Bible, okay, then you're gonna go, motherfucker, <laughs> this guy ain't fucking bullshitting, all right, <laughs> 